how much I spend. Bribe the sales associate with money. All the secrets that you need. Don't buy items just to buy. Some cities are gonna be easier. Okay, where's my bag, where's my bag, where's my bag? The only place where you can go and get an Hermes bag like this, what you should wear, they're just gonna say, sure, let me put you down the list and no one's ever gonna call you. Hello, my fashion babes. I'm Christina. For those of you who are new here, welcome to this channel, which is all about fashion, lifestyle, and luxury travel. So if this is the kind of content that you guys like, subscribe the answer to the question that all of you are looking to find is going to be found in this video if you want to know how to get yourself an Hermes bag in the store you must definitely continue to watch this video I cannot guarantee that it's going to work but I think that if you follow every single step that I tell you it will work even though Patience is key. So if you don't have the patience and if you want the bag like this, you can just exit the video because it's definitely not for you. But if you have the patience and if you really want an Hermes bag from the store, I will tell you all the secrets that you need in order for you to achieve this dream. I have 12 Hermes bags and I purchased all of them in the store. This is my first ever Kelly bag. If you want to hear the story of how I managed to get this bag in the store, if you want to know how much I spend, if you want to know really like all the little secrets, you came to the right place. These bags are just getting so and so and so much harder to buy from the stores. And you definitely must know the tricks in order to manage to get these bags. Otherwise, it's, it's lost. It's never gonna happen. You cannot just walk in the store and be like, hello, I would like a Birkin or a Kelly bag because they will just tell you no. Before we get started on our mess, there is this pair of earrings that got so much attention on my Instagram that I have to share with you the brand. The earrings in these images come from the brand called Ideal. I don't know if you've heard about them, but if you haven't, trust me, you will love them. It's the first time ever that I try on sustainable lab-grown diamonds and I am impressed. They were so cute to send me a little personalized card. The packaging is so beautiful and so elegant. You can see that they paid so much attention to every single detail. I received the items four weeks ago, right when I was going to New York, so I was so happy to take them with me and try them on, so I know exactly what to tell you. I just fell in love immediately. These are not your simple jewelry pieces. They're modular pieces. This brand is revolutionizing fine diamond jewelry. Let me explain. The idea behind their beautiful jewelry pieces is that you can mix and match. You can play around with these earrings and with all of their pieces. All their pieces come with a base. I picked a large diamond stud as a base, which you only have to buy once. And then what is revolutionizing about this brand is that you have different add-ons like this bottom part there are so many different add-ons you can pick from so you can personalize the way you wear this jewelry in so many different ways you can add the add-ons to many different kind of earrings like i can add the add-on of ideal to my diamond stud i mean this is natural diamond and then this is lab grown diamonds you don't see any difference, they sparkle the same way. But I don't usually wear it with my earring, I wear it with the idle earring. So let me switch it up. The add-on has four different holes, so you can adjust the length of it wherever you want, depending on the size of your ear. I was so excited to try lab-grown diamonds because they are so, so, so trendy right now. And it makes diamonds more affordable for everyone, which is, amazing so really you should check their website sometimes they have some promotions going on and you can definitely take advantage of these otherwise their prices are already very good 
for diamonds definitely you cannot compare like the pricing between the the, the natural diamonds and the lab grown diamonds let me show you the necklace also you guys always asked me about this little necklace that i have here which is not from ideal but it looks exactly like the models that they have this is the thin chain from ideal the chain is a necklace base and then there's different add-ons to that and this is guess what another add-on i love stacking up necklaces or do you want to hear the super cool part you can put this add-on on to your earrings even if we all buy the same pieces we end up styling them differently you can even add both of the add-on to the earrings fine diamond jewelry has never been so fun i really love this brand this is my neck game you should definitely check out their jewelry i'm gonna leave the link in the description in case you want to look over their website I promise you this is a brand that really deserves the attention their pieces are solid gold lab grown diamonds they are very high quality i even showered with them i went in the ocean with them and absolutely nothing happened they are lifetime pieces i've heard people telling me they went to Hermes and they tried to bribe the sales associate with money in an envelope. I've heard other people telling me that they went and they tried to give gifts. I heard other people taking them out for dinners, for drinks. Guys, this is not the way to go. Hermes is going to ban you forever from buying bags. This is just not the way. So please stop doing that and just follow these steps. If you have been trying to get an Hermes bag, you know it's not very easy. The only place where you can go and get an Hermes bag like this, if you're lucky, is in the Paris store. For the Paris stores, I did a separate video where I tell you exactly the process on how it is done. It's a lottery system. You have to sign up for an appointment and then you can be lucky enough to get a bag or not. But if you're not in Paris and if you're not lucky with the appointment, the way to start is first of all, go to your home Hermes store, which means if you have an Hermes store in your city, this is the place to go. If you don't have an Hermes store in your city, you must definitely try and find a location that has a store where you go often. I don't know, let's say three, four times a year, at least. When you found your store, you must find yourself a sales associate. Your sales associate in Hermes is going to be your new best friend of Hermes. Just put that in your head. You're not gonna go there and tell her, hi, I would like to buy a bag. Hermes really, really, really wants to know that you are going to be a customer for the whole brand, that you like their products, that you're, you're not in it to just buy their bags, you're in it because you love the brand, you love everything about it. There's also the problem of people buying handbags and then reselling them for double the price. So they really try to avoid. Imagine like someone that has no purchase history, no sales associate, just walks in the store and says, hi, I'd like a, a Birkin bag. Of course, it's not gonna happen. It's the same as watches these days. You cannot just walk into a Patek Philippe store and say, hey, I would like a Nautil use. They're just gonna say, sure, let me put you down the list and no one's ever gonna call you. So you must create a genuine relationship with a sales associate. How do you do that? You do that by, first of all, I would say look at the sales associates and pick one that you think looks kind and that you could really like bond with because you're gonna be seeing this person a lot. Basically, every single time you want to buy something from Hermes, you have to go back to the same store, to the same sales associate. You start with a pair of shoes, uh, with a sweater, with, uh, I don't know, accessories, with something for your house. You always always just go back to that one sales associate and always, always just buy with her or him. As far as I know, there's no specific rule in terms of purchase history. 
You all have been asking me how much did I spend before I managed to get my first Hermes bag. So let me answer that question. Before I managed to get this Kelly bag, I think I spent around 5,000 euros. But how I started the relationship with my sales associate, I started buying other items that I really liked. Another key point, don't buy items just to buy. They're gonna know, they're gonna feel that you're just buying to buy and that you just wanna add stuff to your, uh, to your purchase history and no, that's not how it's done. After you found yourself your essay and you started purchasing after the first time that you purchased, you tell your essay like, can I have your business card? I live here, I'm definitely gonna come back and I would always like to shop with you. This was such a pleasant experience, thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. You leave. You come back in a month or a few weeks after. I would say a month. You buy something else again. You go, you greet your sales associate by her name, his name. Hello, uh, Jennifer. How are you today? How are you feeling? You talk to her a little bit. You tell her a little bit about your life, like you traveled or whatever it is that you're doing. You try to create that personal relationship. The second time when you go to the store and you try to purchase something, you tell her that you would love, it's your dream, and you would love to have one of the quota Hermes bags, a Birkin or a Kelly or whatever it is that you want. You tell her that you definitely have the patience and when it would be possible, if it would be possible, you'd be very happy to be able to buy one of these bags. You just put it out there and you see how they react. If they react, they could react in a positive way, which was my case. And she told me, okay, what is it that you want? And I told her exactly what I wanted. And she told me, okay, I'll put you down and we'll make it happen. Six months later, she calls me, I had my bag, but I had to wait for six months. Every single time I put an order in with my sales associate, I wait. I put it in and I wait and I don't stress her and text her every single day like hey where's my bag where's my bag where's my bag so you tell her if she reacts positive great if she reacts in the way where she says listen we might it's not really possible we cannot really offer this right now you say okay i totally understand but just keep me in mind like keep in mind that i do want to have one of these bags no problem you leave you come back you do again and again and again and so on until it will eventually work if it doesn't work and it's been, I would say, a year that you've been with one sales associate, maybe less, like don't waste a year, maybe like six months that you've been with the same sales associate and she doesn't show or they, they, they don't show that they would want to offer you a bag, change sales associates. Just go back in the store and try to create a relationship with a new one because it's definitely, this is not gonna happen with this one. The first bag is the hardest to get. But once you managed to become an Hermes bag customer, then it's just easier. You can either get a bag by ordering exactly what you want, which is what I do, or you can get a bag when they offer you one. You just tell them I would like a Birkin bag in a neutral color in size 25. And then if they have something around this, they will call you. Another very important point, when you do put it out there that you would like an Hermes bag, it is very important that the sales associate knows that you have the knowledge on these bags. You're not going to go and say, oh, yeah, I would like a, a bag. Uh, I don't know which one. I don't know how. No, you have to know exactly the leather, the hardware, uh, the color, the size, the cellier, retourné. You need to know all these specifications. So this proves to her that you are a very well-educated client in terms of their handbags. You know exactly what you want and you're not there to get any bag that they're gonna give you. No, you want a specific one and your chances are gonna increase. Many of you also asked me what you should wear when you go to the Hermes store. I think you should wear something fashionable, something cool. Don't dress up as if you're going to a glamorous party. Dress up nicely for like every day, like normal, you know, like don't attract attention dressing up in sparkles and bedazzles and don't put everything you have in your house 
on you like all your diamonds all your jewelry all your everything like you're not trying to prove anything here some people that don't have the patience to go through this whole creating a relationship with your sales associate can just buy these bags on secondhand market or they can just go to paris apply for a lottery um, appointment or just go at their store early in the morning and just try and hopefully you will be lucky or even in any other Hermes store you can just go and ask and who knows maybe you're the lucky one who's going to get it some cities are gonna be easier than others for example if you go to the store in Milan it's probably gonna be harder to get a bag um, if you go to the store in uh, I don't know let's say Lyon in France the probability that there's more customers that are going to want a Birkin or a Kelly in Milan is higher than in Lyon, for example. This is just an example. So if you have a smaller city next to your big city that has an Hermes store, I would suggest you try from there. I cannot guarantee that all these steps are going to work, but you can definitely try. Create a relationship with your sales associate. Don't bribe. Don't take her out for dinners. Don't buy her gifts. This is illegal in Hermes. You cannot do that. Do not do that. Just be kind, be genuine, be a good Hermes customer. Always buy stuff. If that year you don't want to buy a bag, you always have to buy stuff, always. But do not buy things that you don't like. I completely disagree with that. I, that's the, the worst strategy ever. You're just gonna buy things from Hermes that you don't like just to have a huge sales history. It doesn't work. I'm the best example of this. I never bought anything that I didn't like. I just bought what I wanted and what I liked. But every Christmas, I would buy gifts from Hermes for my family. Every occasion, I would just buy gifts from Hermes. I would buy get Hermes stuff for myself, you know. I would always buy from Hermes because everyone loves it and Hermes gifts are the best. And I also love their items. So I always had something to buy. But if you don't find anything, just tell your sales associate, okay, look, this and this time, I didn't find anything, I don't want anything this time. She would rather appreciate that much more than you just like splurging and splurging. On the other hand, if you have tons of money to spend, you can definitely go in the store, spend like 100k, and uh, yes, I think that way you're gonna get a bag much quicker, even though it's not guaranteed, but it could happen. If you have the 100k to spend in Hermes, don't be rude. Don't spend it and then expect to get a bag and start yelling and demanding a bag. Trust me, I've heard this from my SA telling me that people just rage into the store and they buy for a lot of money and then they expect her to give them a bag and she just doesn't. They're not obliged to give you a bag. I never tried that way, but the way that I did it with a lot of patience, small, steady purchase history in many years, it worked. I was offered this bag after six months that I started the relationship with my sales associate. So quite quick, I would say. Maybe like five, six months, I would say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was very helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments down below. If you managed to get one of these bags based on what I told you, also let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for being here. And if you do like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, two accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style. Have a good day and an amazing rest of your week. Goodbye, guys.